a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people, uh, my people, so my father's side, well, my mother's father's side, I'm talking about my mother's side, the maternal side, uh, my great uh, grandfather was Gullah Geechee, married to a Mohawk woman, and uh, this is their language, they, uh, they speak a certain language, uh, and it's, uh, well, in this Bible, the uh, New Testament, uh, it's based on, the, of course, the uh, Old Testament of the Bible, and the Old Testament is in this small font here, and the Gullah Geechee, the Gullah translation is here. So I, I read from the uh, from the Gullah translation. I'll just turn to a page right there, so let me just go to that page. We, we just uh, pick out a page and we start reading. Uh, the, the aim is I try to, uh, I guess what I'm trying to do, is uh, stay in contact with my Gullah roots. And uh, this is a tangible way. Now, the, the Gullah people, what happened was uh, after the, the people were freed uh, from the bondage of slavery, that was uh, the chattel slavery of North America, now they quickly learned to read and write. And so I was thinking, whoa, okay, how did they do that so quick? Well, the only uh, materials they had was the, uh, was the Holy Bible. And so they, they used that, and they became quite literate, you know, in a very short period of time. And so I just wanted to keep in touch with that. So let's go to page. What we do is just read any 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 passage, and, uh, and that's what we do. Uh, this is page uh, 468. Let's go to uh, 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 the Apostle Den 18, uh, 9. Let me just translate the Apostle Den, because in this thing, the Apostle Den, that would be Paul and Corinth. Corinth. So this is from Paul, I guess. Uh, okay, 18.9. Of course, it's a small font. You know, here's some reading glasses here. See, because you know the font is like that old English, you know, Shakespeare model language in the, in the color here. Uh, what did I say? Uh, 4.18, I said I was going to do 9. Well, even if I didn't say I was going to do 9, I'm going to do 9 now. Uh, um, one night, the Lord take, uh, uh, talked to Paul in a vision. The Lord tell him, say, must John far must keep on to tell the people what a tell ye for say. Must John uh, get weary? And the translation is, translation is, um, they speak. They spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Be not afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. And again, we usually read these twice. Uh, again, this is the, the Apostle Den uh, 18, this is 9. One night the Lord talked to Paul in a vision. The Lord tell him, say, must John for... Fear, uh, must keep on to tell the people what I uh, tell you for say. Must don't get weary. And the translation is, uh, Then Paul spake the Lord to Paul. I'm sorry. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, but not afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. Uh, reading uh, by me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect uh, from the New Testament as uh, rendered by the uh, Gullah people.